the philosophy for Angkor, all area, is to keep the nature as much as possible. This is the philosophy. The, at the same time, because we have monuments which are uh, the testimony of a culture and a civilization, we should do our best to preserve them. Uh, when you see a temple in ruin, in erosion, uh, maybe you feel sad, you pity them. Uh, basically, yeah. you know, you human being when they see that. But I heard and I listened to experts, they said that uh, ruin, erosion are the beauty. So why, why it contrasts? It's part in our work. Uh, we have to, to explain uh, to those who are listening to us that when Cambodia presented the site, the site has a characteristic of a, a very specific harmony between what was built and what the nature has done. It is this harmony that we consider should be also respected. This is the alliance between nature and culture. Nature is what you know, the gods have given in this earth. Yeah. Culture is what man has built during his life and during generation after generation. So it is important in some places to keep the, uh, uh, the testimony as it was touched by the by time. The nature, by, by the time, time yeah. by the time. Yeah. The time is always having an influence in some places, I give you a concrete example. When we were discussing at length with the Indian team working in Tapron, inside the hall, which was call, called the, the Hall of Dancers, it was completely destroyed. Destroyed and all the stones accumulated uh, yeah, yeah. into the hall. We had a long discussion. What to do? Do we leave this Hall of Dancers and to show to the to, people, to, to the visitors, yeah. this is how it was finally because of time, because of uh, weathering, uh, 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 wind, rain, etc. Yeah. And hundreds of years, this is the result. We find a, a solution. solution. Yeah. We said to, to explain to the people how was the ceremony done in this hall, we should restore one part of the hall. But in order to show what is the effect of the time and the history, we leave one part destroyed. This is also the value and... Uh, you, you not know, the beauty like I no, mentioned. It's no. No, 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 it's not a question of beauty. <laughs> it's a value of, um, of, under of understanding the, the time effect. Mm -hmm. And it has a, a, a different beauty it's called in, in the French uh, literature. It is called le romantisme archéologique. You know the uh, uh, archaeological rom uh, uh, romance, romantism. Yeah. <laughs> the archaeological romantism. Yeah. It, it exists because it's this association of nature and uh, and monuments. And sometimes, uh, even in Sambor Prekup, which was the last uh, visit we did uh, last week, we were looking at one temple which has a very uh, extraordinary uh, vision. Mm -hmm. the, the trees are totally surrounding it. Yes, yeah, so like at uh, Taprum also. You, so like, what, 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 what more is... than Taprum. Oh, really? More than Taprum. If you want uh, yeah, uh, to advise it, you yeah. to see, okay. it's totally. So we think that we have to do the work of consolidation because we want to, to, to restore, to, yeah. to, be, to be maintained. To save, yeah, maintained. But at the same time, we feel with our colleague, uh, the director of the site, uh, uh, Fansadi, and with the conservators, we had a long discussion. That this is the role of the ICC. Yeah. The discussion. And <laughs> you see need to cut trees? Or? Are, yeah. <laughs> and, and we found that one solution should be to leave as much as possible this strong association between, of nature, between nature and, trees and, and, temples. and the temples. So what which is has the... a beauty. Which is a beauty. And people are coming, uh, if you, you have probably noticed, to Taprom. Many also who have the picture so of when, this tree, uh, yep. which yes. is uh, surrounding and you know, uh, enveloping uh, uh, all the monuments.
Yes, but uh, sometimes maybe the trees, uh, the trees uh, destroy your uh, temple, or this maybe is, you can say the, the husband and wife, this uh, you is, know, they the, live together. This is part of the <laughs> strategic discussion we have for each temple. What should we do? But finally, so I thought that maybe experts always live uh, tree and temple. The philosophy, the philosophy for Angkor, all area, is to keep the nature as much as possible. This is the philosophy. The, at the same time, because we have monuments which are uh, the testimony of a culture and the civilization, we should do our best to preserve them. To preserve it's temples. A, it is, you know, a compromise ap uh, approach where we are not saying, no, no, we destroy all the trees the, because then we can see the you temple. You keep balance, uh, but uh, at Between. the end, uh, finally, you still uh, want to keep temple more Ab than trees. <laughs> Absolutely. No, we keep, because, it, because this is the testimony. The trees, you can have them anyway. But if, you, if, if they are damaging the temple, then we have to take a decision. But mostly, we are trying to find a, a compromise solution in bringing as much as possible the natural setting in addition to the human setting. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Bosnaki, for your information, for your knowledge you share to uh, the public, especially Cambodian public. It's my pleasure and I repeat, it's my honor to be with uh, my colleagues uh, from Cambodia since 1992 without uh, any interruption up to now <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much once again thank you and i wish you good luck and good uh, good in everything okay. Akun. <laughs> Akun. <laughs> thank you thank you